Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to query uh, data from Redshift from a PySpark glue job using the PG8000 library. First, you're going to have to download the WHL files for both Scramp and PG8000. Then you're going to upload those files to S3. And finally, we're going to create glue PySpark job uh, with references to those WHL files, those wheel files. You're just going to need to have a Redshift cluster already created and a glue role created as well. So I'm here on the Python website for both the PG8000 and the Scramp libraries. I will provide links to these uh, to these libraries uh, in the description of this video. So you're going to need to download both of these. Once you download them uh, in the console here, if you go to S3, you're just going to pick a bucket to, to put those files in. I have them in this in a glue scripts bucket here in libraries. And I just uploaded the two dot wheel files. So you're just going to want to upload those two files into an S3 bucket. Then you're going to navigate to glue. Now this is something to note. So if you have your Redshift cluster, if it's just in your default VPC or in a public subnet that has access to the internet, you don't have to worry about this step. But if your Redshift cluster is in a private VPC, or rather a private subnet within a VPC, then you're going to have to add a connection to that Redshift cluster. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to call it Redshift. Redshift example cluster, put in your password. Okay, I've tested it earlier, so I'm just not going to. Well, actually, you know what? I'll test it. So I'm just testing the connection for this. And this will take a couple minutes, so I'll pause the recording. So as you can see, the connection was successful. So now I'm going to go down to the jobs. I have a job created, but I'll delete this one and recreate it just to show you. Before I go ahead and do that, I just want to, I'm not going to recreate this script. OK. So I'll delete this job. Go to add job. Call this Redshift glue job. Just going to use this glue crawler role that I have. Script generated by AWS Glue. So I'm going to do an, ex uh, an existing script. You could also just do a new script authored by you. Uh, and then after you're finished putting all the components in, you'll just be able to compose the script yourself. I'm just going to use an existing script and I'm going to choose that location that I have here. So I'm going to go to BC Glue Scripts, PySpark, choose that one, keep that as default. And go to security configuration. So over here is where you're going to put the, the libraries. So remember those libraries that you uploaded to S3, you need those now. So we're going to go into blue, BC Glue scripts. Now, I'm not sure if there is an option. I don't think there is of selecting two libraries at a time. So I'm just going to copy the name of that one. You could choose this directory. I haven't tried that yet. But I'm just going to do choose this dot wheel file right here. And then we're going to just put a comma, put the next one, and then take the path here. Put that in. So now I have both these libraries in there. I'm going to make the number of workers two. Make it a little bit cheaper, and then that's it. And then I'll select that Redshift connection I created. And the script's already in here for me. I have the database, my host, port number, user, and password. And then I'm using this pg8000.connect method. And those are the parameters, the host, the port, database, user, and password. 
Um, and then I'm just doing a very simple query from a table that I had created earlier. Uh, I will provide this script uh, in the link in the description. So I'm just going to save that and I'll run this job. I'm going to press X here. So I'll just wait till this finishes. And there you have it, it succeeded. So the main thing is that you want to make sure you have both those libraries included. This is to get the PG8000 library. I can't say if any of the other Postgres libraries will work, but this one I was able to get work, able to get to work. So that's pretty much it. Let's just verify in the logs. And yep, there's the results from the table. So yep, that's it, thank you.